Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Jay Speak. This week we cover questions. First question, what are some of my favorite combinations of gear that I've used over the years? It's actually a really cool question. Um, so I had to like dig around in my brain and um, I think some of my favorite ones have been a Gibson Firebird, the Reverse Firebird with mini humbuckers and like an orange OR100 or the Custom Shop 50, OR50. Those combinations were really awesome. Well, you can't really go wrong with like a Les Paul and a Marshall, just like Silver Jubilee, the 2555X or the 2525H plus a Les Paul with like 57s. Fantastic. Uh, some of my personal favorites is my Unicorn, which is the Gibson ES-335. has 57 classics in it. I love it with my Rocker Verb, a really great combination. I think a lot of the Friedman guitars actually sound really great with their Friedman amps. Uh, honestly, I almost take anything into my Dirty Shirley. Sir, Friedman, Fender, uh, they're, they're all good. You know, like the Sir Badger 30 takes a lot of guitars really well. I really like it with my Friedman Vintage T with humbuckers. And I really like it with my Gibson non-reverse Firebird with mini humbuckers. I just picked up that Fano PX6 in the back. And that sounds awesome with my Fender Twin. It sounds great with the Dirty Shirley. I played it with the Rocker Verb. Uh, it sounds great all around. I think I even tried it with the BE-52 and that was phenomenal. Freeman Vintage S HSS, so a humbucker, single coil, single coil Stratocaster, or a straight up Fender Tele just into a Fender Twin is just amazing. Um, another one that I remember really liking was a, was a Gibson ES-137 into a Fender Twin. I thought that was great too. Question two, how do you react to all the negativity in the world and comments you see on the internet? Not exactly sure where this one's coming from. And this this one was actually emailed to me. The pandemic, you know, going on, what, a year now that we've been basically at home. Um, I've read a couple articles about pandemic fatigue and how, you know, that it's wearing on everybody and you're just tired of being home. And, you know, I think for the most part, I, I think that affects everyone, everyone, kids to adults. I, I don't think anyone's immune to that. I think you gotta look for the positivity in things, you know, value what you got, shelter over your head, food to eat, you know, the toys that you have come to know and love. Like on a less serious note, like YouTube land, you know, forums, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. You know, um, there's a lot of experts floating around on the internet and you can't please everybody. So do what you like, you know, sometimes things just don't work out <laughs> the way you want. I mean, for me personally, I make a wide variety of videos that's gonna bring all sorts of viewers to the channel. You like it or you don't, or you might like a handful of videos and you might not like other ones. And that's cool. You're have your opinion and that's all good. In general, you gotta look past some of the negative stuff and again, focus on the positive things. You know, I'm not gonna lie, one negative comment really kind of makes you think, but try to be a little mentally tough. Dude, internet land is not, you let the experts and everyone have their opinion and it's okay, you know? Not, not everyone's gonna love you and not everyone's gonna hate you. Doesn't matter if there's a few people that don't like what you do, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> There's been plenty of popular musicians, actors, actresses, whatever, that people love to hate. Millions of people love them, and there's millions of people that don't like them. <laughs> I, I think it's okay. Question three, how do I get in touch with you? <laughs> um, you can leave a comment here on the channel. I, I generally see all of them. Sometimes if there's a lot of them, it might take me a while to go through them to see what's new and what's not or what's been responded to etc but you can also write me an email contact the j at gmail.com and i generally respond within a couple days i also use questions from those emails in these videos i did recently receive some tutorial requests so i probably will do some of those so i will get around to that which would be fun to do it's been a while if you have any questions or comments please leave them below as always thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe many more videos to come don't miss one sub.